Welcome again, welcome again to another DIY video repair, guys. Uh, I got four models here. Uh, I want to I wanted, uh, take this time to tell you guys thank you for following my channel. Thank you guys for, uh, you know, uh, sharing my sharing my videos um but this video is for you guys i want to create this video so i want to share uh links so that way you guys can uh, find uh parts for your appliance easier and also get the right price for your money so all you're going to need is a computer and make sure you watch the video from the beginning to the end all right guys all right guys so once you have once, once you have the model number of the uh, units whatever you have a if you have a washer refrigerator um you know stove cooktop anything that is related with appliance uh, i want to show you guys the i'm going to show you five links that you can actually search for parts for example i have my i have a refrigerator let's say i'm looking for a filter so i have four links uh, i have the model so actually let me show you uh, so i have uh four links uh one two three actually five links this one here is Sears, Sears uh, Parts Direct. The reason I have five links is because I want to make sure I get the best for my money. That way I can shop around. What I usually do, I start with Sears Parts Direct uh, once I have the model number. So for example, I have a, I have a Samsung. I'm going to type in my model number here. And mine is uh, RF265. And this one here is BE, uh, B-E-A-E-S-G-S. And okay, so I have that. So that's the model number. And the Sears website actually comes very handy. So here it gives me a whole breakdown on the parts. Um, see all these breakdowns, it gives you schematics, it gives you pretty much everything. So the based on the model, like mine, my filter is actually located in the uh inside the I think it's an in, in the fridge compartment. So once you click on it, it's gonna give you a op like a big overview on the unit and so you can kind of search it and see if you can find the uh so i'm looking is for the no nope, that's not it uh so if you can't find it like that you can actually go to the search uh let me see ah right let me see right here okay we don't want that uh somewhere over here where it says search by category name so we can actually do filter water filters so it's going to search for water filters based on the model. So you see that and you can actually search it. Or you can use the... Uh, so now that we have the water filter, we have the part number. So I usually use this website to kind of give me the part number. I don't usually buy it from them. So what I do is I get the part number and see how they have it for $59.99. Um, I want to decline the offer. Decline offer. So then what I usually do is I go to the, I go to eBay, copy the same part number that I got. And then I, I can kind of check, see over here, it gives you the same, make sure it matches the part number or something close to that. So see here, you can go, uh, this one, you, you can make a bet, I guess. Uh, you can buy four and a pack for $35.97 versus $55. So I like Amazon because I can, uh, I can actually uh, have it ne the next day. I don't have to wait a week or two days or three days so i'm gonna do the same thing here and i'm gonna search it and see it's gonna give me the same thing amazon here so and over here see if you're a prime member you can get it like the next day or it gives you the date but it gives you the same and you can kind of search it see how this one's 31 dollars 25 so that, that way you get the best for your money so that's how pretty much that's the secret uh how to get the best value for your money um so and then also I have all the links over here, which is the repair clinic. So let's say you're now searching for a, a filter. Let's say you're searching for, a, let's say you're searching for a heating element for the uh, for the stove. So let's let's I'm gonna type in my my model number. All right, guys. So I have a I have a GE stove, and for example, I'm looking for the bake element. So once I type in the model number here, you can click on your model, and you can do the same thing. You can get the part number from from this website here from your Parts Direct. Uh, you know they they give you a whole uh, schematic that you can actually span the whole entire uh, diagram, so you can actually see what it looks like. If you're in your laptop, you can actually see it on your and uh, you can actually check it on your phone. 
So here, see if you're looking for the control board, let's say your control board, it goes bad. You can actually search it here. Um, you can buy it by switches, you know, switches there. You can look, look for, you can look at it by location. So that's very important. You can actually, uh, you can spin the diagram if you want to. Uh, so let's say my big element goes bad on the unit. Let's say, it, uh, or even a burner. Uh, let me click on the one for, uh, let me look for the big element. Uh, I think it's over here, inside here. So, uh oh, sorry about that. So here, there's two big elements, so don't get it confused. You can actually search it. This is the one on the upper, that's the broil. And the one on the bottom is going to be the one for the big element. So see, it's uh, location 251. So you can actually search it. Um, you can just can look look for the big element. Uh, okay. So sometimes you don't want to search it like that. You can search it by by the name. So let's type in big element and see what it comes up. Let's hit search. And no, nothing came up. It's not helping me. Let's hit set enter. No, it's not coming up. All right. So it's not working by that. So I'm going to have to search it. Ah, I'm sorry. It's right here where you got to put it. So big element. So to hit search. Yeah, there it is. Uh, nope, it's not finding that. So let's type in. You don't have to put it. See, now it gives you the little help. So here's by categories. My bad. So here you bake. Type in the bake element. And here's the part number right here. So see, you can grab it. You can do the same thing. You can actually click on it, uh, take a look at the picture, make sure it matches yours. So you can grab the same part number. So this here is $42. So normally I don't buy it from there. So then I compare the prices. So I'll start with eBay. Um, so here, make sure it matches your picture, make sure it matches the, uh, the part number, the one you're looking for. But Sears is pretty good on that. So, so but I don't, I don't usually recommend to buy from there because sometimes you can go months and you never get it. Um, so see here, they give you, if you want something quick and you, you got family coming over or you, you're planning to make a cake for a wedding or something. Yeah. So something fast, something quick, you can actually use Amazon prime. And if they don't have it, you have, uh, you have all their two websites that I have, which I'm going to share with you on the bottom of the video. Uh, we can, you can use D I D E Y. You can do the same thing. You can search it by the part number. So see, you'll find it right there. It says $67. So you have to check it. So if Amazon doesn't have it, you can actually order it through then. So you can try that. And this is the other website I have is repair clinic. You can do the same thing. Um, you can search it by the part number and it gives you the, the part number here. And you can do the same thing here. You can actually do, you can actually uh, search it by the model number. So which I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to copy the model number. And I'm going to go back to, let's try and uh, let's try over here and repair clinic. Repair clinic is pretty good. So let's type in by the model number. So here, see, it gives you, it gives you parts. And I think it, if I'm not mistaken, it does give you the schematic too, but see, it gives you all the parts. So you can order through them. And also, you know, you can order the light bulb. So, um, so most, most of the, most of the parts you have to order online. You can't just go to the store like Lowe's or Home Depot and try to get it. So the, you know, those pretty much are the places you, you're going to have to go. But I wanted to make this video for you guys. So that way you guys can. If you're ever looking for parts for your appliance, hopefully this video can help. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and I'll continue making more videos for you guys. You know, um, I like to help people. I like to, I've been doing appliance for a long, long time. And this is a, these are the links that I normally use for, for searching parts. So that way, you know, and that way you don't get ripped off by other, uh, companies. They try to sell you something that's $20, they try to sell it to you for a lot of price. Uh, but anyhow, um, hopefully you find the video health, helpful and, and stay tuned for more. And I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe and make sure you leave a comment if you find this video helpful. 
and you guys peace and love bye bye